Toast provides point of sale and management systems for restaurants and the company has seen incredible growth. Revenue grew 107% in 2021, 60% in 2022 and 45% over the last 12 months and that growth is expected to continue for at least the next few years. Based on the current share price, the company has a market cap of $9.6 billion with just over a billion of cash and investments on its balance sheet. Revenue over the last 12 months totals $3.6 billion, but the company is not yet profitable with negative $310 million of net income. Toast can be best described as an operating system for restaurants. The company sells subscriptions, hardware and services that allows restaurants to manage everything from orders and inventory to payroll and pickups. This is a godsend in the fast-paced world of catering. Toast sells its hardware terminal at a loss and makes the majority of its revenue from transactions that are made through the platform. In other words, every time you order food in a restaurant that uses Toast, some of that revenue flows direct to the company. This figure, called gross payment volume, is huge at almost $120 billion over the last 12 months, and Toast typically charges 2.6 to 2.7% of every transaction. However, after credit card, bank and processing fees, Toast only manages to keep about 50 basis points of that order. So out of that $120 billion of GPV, Toast only keeps $650 million in gross profit, and that explains the low gross margins of only 21%. Out of all Toast's revenue segments, software subscriptions are the most profitable. They represent 13% of total revenue but bring in almost 70% of gross profit. So this is one area that investors need to pay attention to. If Toast can get more restaurants paying for software upgrades, then the company can boost its gross margins and become a more profitable company. But alongside low take rates, there are other risks to consider. The first is competition. Toast is competing with other payment processors like Square, Revel and Clover and delivery companies like Uber Eats and DoorDash want to commoditize payments so that they become interchangeable between sites. Also, Toast typically focuses on restaurants doing over $500,000 in annual sales but larger chains like McDonald's typically build out their own systems. Out of 800,000 total restaurants in the US, roughly half are larger chains, which leaves around 450,000 independent restaurants. But many of those are smaller independent outfits doing less than $150,000 a year. That leaves about 160,000 independent restaurants in the range that Toast likes to target. And Toast already has roughly half of them. In other words, there could be a ceiling to how much Toast can really grow. Of course, Toast could expand overseas, but take rates in Europe are even lower than in the US, and the company will likely face similar issues with competition. Overall, this is a good business, but the stock doesn't look like a good opportunity, which is why I give it a negative rating. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no position in Toast stock. For more investing videos, visit my website, 3minutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.